Okay, it looks like the uh, the Honda battery pack didn't have a lot of capacity. You can see the bulbs are going really dim. They're all in series here. Uh, the voltage has gone down really, really quick. It's down to 80 volts. So what we want to do is uh, take the load off and uh, get a charge going. And I'm going to explain how this all works here. So uh, the load is right, where's the load right here? So we're going to pull this red wire off here, a little sparky. Okay, so the load's off. Uh, you'll see the voltage starting to climb back up. Uh, no load. And what we have here is brute force. So I have this uh, Variac here. It's good for 135 volts. Uh, so it says 15 amps. And so I have it turned all the way down. And uh, I have it hooked right to a bridge rectifier, 25 amps, brute force. So the positive already goes to the positive. And I'm going to hook the negative up. And uh, we're going to get the current meter and try to get around 5 amps here. And bear with me. We're going to put uh, this thing right across here. Okay, so all systems go. I should hear it humming. I should see the voltage starting to come up a little bit more than just the surface charge. And I'm going to turn the current meter on here. I'm going to go straight to 80 amps. Uh, and I don't know if I can hold this on here without it falling off. Uh, maybe I can prop it up here. There we go. Okay, so it's zero amps. Uh, that's on the negative side. So I'm going to turn it up until I start seeing current. I'm seeing current. I see three amps. I see 1.6, two, three, four, uh, five. 5.5 so they're supposed to be 5500 milliamp hour batteries so uh, the c1 rate would be about 5.5 amps actually it's all the way up i got no more soup left so as it turns out uh, peak voltage times rms so if i have 135 volts 1.414 times that is uh, uh, whatever it comes out to across here to draw uh 4.7 amps. So that's that's okay. That's good. So we're about 180 volts uh, on, the, on the meter. And we'll let this charge for a couple minutes uh, and get some capacity in there. Uh, we'll see how hot the rectifier gets. It was getting a little warm before. I had a piece of 19 inch rack filler material. Drilled some holes. Put some ucky puck in there. And screwed that down with some screws. I do have my trusty uh, infrared thermometer here. It's not been on long enough for it to get warm enough, so 71 degrees. Uh, when I had it hanging there without a heat sink, it was getting pretty hot, about 130 some degrees. So I think we'll be okay. We'll let this baby charge for a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to cycle it. See, it's already down to 4 amps. Nickel metal hydride. So I got my load there. We're not using the load. So uh, this will work out good. So I'll cycle it a couple times, let this charge. Uh, I have no real easy way of detecting end of charge because end of charge on NICADs or metal hydride have that little dip in the charge. So I'm either going to have to go by temperature. Uh, I could probably catch the side of the cells here with the infrared here. Maybe that's a way to do it. That's pretty crude. The, there's orange sticks and, and uh, green sticks. Uh, or I'll, I'll get a pretty good feel. I'm pretty good with batteries, so I'll get a good feel for when they're close to charge. They don't have to be 100% full, I don't think, to actually balance and cycle them. So uh, the battery's good. I mean, this is a resellable unit. Uh, what I want to do is just get a decent charge on it. So whoever buys this from uh, the person I'm working on this for, I don't own this battery. I just own the test gear. And... Uh, and I own a whole bunch of 100-watt light bulb test load, dummy load. I like that. This is the coolest part of the whole project. So I like that. So, okay, I'm going to run up the Safeway. Safeway grocery store closes at 1. I'm rather hungry. I didn't have a big dinner. I'm going to go get some snacks, some dessert, some yogurts, see if they got any peanuts. But uh, I don't know if I should leave the house with this thing charging. I might unplug it. But there you go. This is kind of how it works. So see you guys later.